been established. Yes. We understand that they come in at different levels. But the argument you're making is that regardless of if somebody comes in, even as a laboratory technician, for example, if they happen to be excellent and they work their way up and somehow they get from grade you know, 7 or grade 6 up to grade 12 and they're with a doctor, they should be earning the same. I think the, the question... It's, it's the, not the same. Basic salary. Basic salary, that's what I'm that, 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 yes, that's what we're, that's yes. what I'm referring to when I yes. say the same. Now, the National Association of Resident Doctors is saying that, that it's, it's entirely unfeasible because the, the level of preparation, the level of academic investment is completely different regardless. Is it not, do they not have a case to make? Do they not have a legitimate point when they say so? Now, would, uh, let me answer it this way. Then if today, architects, engineers, and lawyers come around to say, look, this man grew to level nine, where we entry, or he has grown to level 14, where we get promoted to. So therefore, you should now create a different basic level for us. Because these are not, if you're talking about investments and length of training, the architect is not trained for the same period like the executive officer. The same, the other graduates who enter at grade level eight, and that is why government was careful to say, okay, look, you trained for a longer period. Investment is higher. So you're not going to enter. Yes, you are a graduate, but you're not going to enter at the same level with these other ones. But structure remains. Let me give you an example. For instance, before 1991, the GL was the structure. And everybody was entering the GL at his own entry point. And the basic was all the same to 17, 1 to 17. Not until 1991 when the Olukoye Rasakuti, you know, decided to make a difference mm -hmm. by introducing the um, medical salary scale and the, the, health, uh, the revised university salary scale for the other health workers. We didn't like it, but then government has come with a policy. It went on. Again, when they decided to re re review it in 1993, they re it was reviewed in 1993, and that revision now made it that the uh, salary, again, was reviewed for both sides. It became revised medical scale and revised health services scale. If I'm getting you correct, Now, sorry, those salaries were said to be interim. Sorry, Mr. Bill Belemoye, yes. if I may interrupt you. You have talked about, you know, your salaries and welfare and what have you. But what you seem to be doing is talking about it relative to what doctors earn, if I'm getting you correctly. The NMA has said that what has happened so far is jealousy on the part of Johesu. They have accused your, um, of your group of being jealous. And if you look at all that you have said now, you haven't particularly said what we're earning is not enough. What you're saying is increase our basic relative to what doctors earn. You cannot increase doctor salaries and leave our salaries where, where it is. We need to earn some, there, there needs to be some amount of relativity. Is that what you're saying? Not, not so. That's it. Not so. That, that seems to now, let me tell you this. this. Let me tell you this. We have two salary structures that existed before. And there was a relativity on them. At some point, at that time, at the the, the lower part, the health worker salary was even higher, end to end. Now, and then towards the end, the doctor's basic was higher. This caused some irregularities. And so let me read this out for you. That, this was the salary, 1993, when we had two different structures. So it said here, this revised H HSS is interim pending the final report of the National Salaries and Wages Commission. So for the doctor's own, interim, when they revised it. Now, by 1998, when the workers and wages decided that, look, let's take all these things out and let's harmonize. So the, the, the wages and the salaries commission now harmonized the salaries. And at that time, they opted for HAPS because there were two harmonized structures. They harmonized public service salary structure and they harmonized tertiary institution salary structure. Now, we were on the Hatties. They were on the Habs. Later, they discovered that the Hatties was higher. So they now migrated to the Hatties. 
No qualms. We didn't, we didn't object. Government has made a policy. Go in. They came in there, and then we started using the same basic. Then came counties, consolidated. We used the same basics. When, if I take 10 years to get to that place, that basic, just like on the other public service salary structure, whoever gets, even if you come with a PhD mm -hmm. and you enter at a higher point, you get to 14 and somebody grows up to that 14. It takes the same basic with the other. Mr. Josiah, looking at the entire scope of the problem now, yes. let's talk about the actual strike itself. Uh, we're at the point of now uh, essentially a month, and you know, there have been reports around the country of unruly behavior on the part of, of members of your union locking gates to uh, medical facilities, stopping uh, members of your union who do not agree with the position of your union on the issue of the strike uh, from working, etc., uh, threatening doctors uh, for, and stopping them from doing their work. So many allegations. Do you believe that you have done enough to douse the tension while looking for what you're looking for, dousing the tension so that ordinary Nigerians looking for medical services are not negatively impacted by the strike? The strike has gone into the fourth week. These stories are just emanating now. We know the Federal Minister of Health. It has severally blackmailed us in one way or the other. All this is a prelude. They, are just, they have a game plan to now, initially they wanted the public to know that uh, oh, to, we are asking for the same salary and I've given you the total here. There are points where a doctor takes 900,000 and our person is taking 476 after 23 years in service to the, to, to, as a director. Now we are saying if the proposed uh, adjustment is done, the person gets to only 600 plus. Still, there is a difference of 300 and 2,000 naira. Yet they say that is parity. Is that parity? Now coming to this issue, our members have never been unruly anywhere. They have a right to monitor the strike. We have monitoring teams, and our own members. Before we uh, um, ordered the strike, we went around. I think the media can bear us that witness that we went around consulting with our members all around, in the zones and everywhere, and they blessed the strike. Mm. So sure. they would not be going against the strike in any place. I'm just but wondering. because it's a prelude for them mm. to not call in security, to perhaps uh, harass and meme, which of course they started as the strike started in FMC Uweri and we immediately called the attention of the police that our people are peaceful and they've been very peaceful. We were supposed to go, like coming to the part where you say Nigerians' interest and all that, we've been considerate enough. For six months, we waited. And before we ordered the strike, we gave 66 days notice to government. 66 days was not long enough for government to even react one I, day. I, I'm wondering, Mr. So, Dubelema, we're being faced right now with... Uh, Ebola. The last time that Ebola came to this country, we pray it doesn't come again, uh, Joe Hesse was on strike. This time around, we've been told that there's an outbreak of Ebola in DR Congo. They have stepped up, um, you know, surveillance at the airport. And again, Joe Hesse is on strike. Are you not worried that, you know, given the severity of this type of disease and what could happen and how fast it spreads, that this is not the time to be on strike? Well, unfortunately, um, like I told you, we signed an agreement six months ago. Uh, sorry, now seven months. Because when we started the strike, it was six months ago. Now seven months. If the government had thought these people are relevant in this system, they would have done the needful to, to get this thing over. So as far as you're concerned, everything and, rests squarely with the government? Yeah. Because they did the same. They adjusted the doctors only in 15 days. 15 days. After signing an agreement on the 6th of September last year, 21st, the circular was out and everything was out, and they, 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 they adjusted it. Here, there has been a game of not wanting to come out with the, the truth. The economic with the truth to the public. First, I want to tell you, they told us, why we, why we were very patient in six months is mm -hmm. that, they told us, oh, we have sent, we have done the work, it's 22 billion, and then we have raised the memo to Mr. President, so please bear with us. Mm. We, they gave all those documents they gave to when us. When you look at the so, fact, just a moment, Mr. Mm. when you look at the fact that you're 95% of the health population, of the workforce, 
Do you think it will be easy to migrate all of you to you know, the system that you're asking for? Will it be easy? What impact do you think increasing the basic of all your salaries will have on the recurrent expenditure of government? As compared with doctors who are just maybe 5%, and when they ask for a raise, oftentimes government might look at it and say, well, it might not make too much of an impact. 95% is quite a lot. Yeah, 95% is quite a lot. But you see, the truth is this. The doctors might be few, but if you weigh the salary, okay, if you weigh the salary, theirs compared to the number might be heavier. Why I say so? Right now, for the doctors, maybe a doctor's salary, a doctor, for, for instance, a doctor who takes uh, 312,000 naira, that could go for about, about uh, 50 to 60 persons on the other side. Mm. All right? So that will not really count. Today, the, the, the implication is that 22 billion they showed to us, which we took back to our members. Now look, government is doing something. Mm. They've done this. So, and it takes just 1.8 billion per month, additional to what they were paying per month. So 1.8 billion, they say they cannot raise it, but you are also paying, using money to pay an illegal item to doctors. For doctors, even if it is illegal, like the skipping, they are not meant to be. Incomes and wages issue the secular well, well, that they are not supposed to benefit from it, but they are paid. We are totally out of time. Uh, we, we sincerely hope that this matter is resolved soonest and that you, know, you continue to be at the, negotiation ta the negotiating table uh, with the government. But we have to thank you most kindly for coming on Sunrise Daily. Mr. Bio Belemoye Josiah is the president of the Joint Health Sector Unions. Sunrise Daily will continue in just a moment. Please stay with us.